So the news has just come in that Disney has bought Lucasfilm for, I think it was $4.5 billion, and it's been revealed that a new Star Wars Episode Seven has been set for a 2015 release, with more feature films expected to continue the Star Wars saga and grow the franchise well into the future. Lucas added himself, For the past 35 years, one of my greatest pleasures has been to see Star Wars pass from one generation to the next. It's now time for me to pass Star Wars on to a new generation of filmmakers. I've always believed that Star Wars could live beyond me, and I thought it was important to set up this transition during my lifetime. I'm confident that with Lucasfilm under the leadership of Kenneth Kennedy and having a new home within the Disney organization, Star Wars will certainly live on and flourish for many generations to come. Our long-term plan is to release a new Star Wars feature film every two to three years, says Bob Iger, chairman and chief executive of the Walt Disney Company. Talk about kicking a dead horse. Again. Ugh, this makes my brain hurt. Now, while I'm happy that Lucas has passed Star Wars on to different people, and that he's not going to be doing anything with it anymore, and I think it's actually a really good decision, and I respect him a little bit more for doing this, Disney, can't we just leave it alone? There isn't 1% of this decision to make more Star Wars films that actually stems from someone wanting to make a great movie. This is all business. I can easily understand that this will mean that Disney will cash in on billions, but no one wants a Star Wars 7, or 8, or 9. I mean, what's it going to be about? If by 7 it means it'll take place after Return of the Jedi, then that wonderful climax will be shoved down the drain. I guess the Sith weren't destroyed. Characters that we grew up with and loved, it turns out that they didn't really win, they just prevented more war. Boy, does that fill my heart with happiness. And it's probably not going to have Luke Skywalker, Han Solo, or Princess Leia. So what? Their children? The only upside to this is that maybe, I don't know, but there could be a possibility of the original trilogy being released in their original untouched versions onto DVD and Blu-ray. But really, that's just me looking for something positive to say. This is just another example of Hollywood giving up and taking something that's already been fucked with and dragging it out further and further. There is no more story that needs to be told. As Comedy Central tweeted, I guess episode 7 will finally answer all our burning questions about Jar Jar's grandkids. So to all my subscribers and anyone watching this, what's your initial reaction to this? I'd love to know. Drop me a comment, may the force be with us all, and as always if you like this video you can subscribe to my channel.